Hey everyone, this is the Hedgeman for the Techies, and today I'll be introducing you to the hidden volume function of TrueCrypt. If you saw the last video, TrueCrypt is software uh, which you can use to create encrypted files on your computer. Uh, the hidden volume function is especially valuable because if you were to have uh, some hidden volumes or hidden data that's been encrypted on your computer, and you have been compelled into giving out the password to someone, the hidden volume function allows you to have two volumes, the outer shell and an inner shell. And you can give out the password to the outer shell without revealing the contents of the inner shell, so that's what we'll be going over today. So you're going to go ahead and create a new volume, and you're going to be using the hidden TrueCrypt volume. Now, for this, you have two options. There is the normal mode and direct mode. I recommend using normal mode unless you already have a TrueCrypt volume and you want to build a secret volume within outside of, you'll be using normal mode. Okay, so first you uh, need to create a file. So we'll just be calling this one library and saving it to the desktop. So once you have a file created, uh, you hit next and from here you'll be doing the outer volume. The outer volume will be the accessible one. Uh, the first layer accessible one. The outer volume has the encryption options here and the hash algorithm stuff down there. I'll just be using the default uh, using the file size one megabyte. That should be sufficient for this and for the password. Uh, this is the password for the outer volume. Keep that in mind. So the outer volume password will be separate from the hidden volume. The outer volume password is something that you can give out if you're pressed by somebody, uh, if you needed to give out that and not want to show everything in the thing. Uh, as before, the random pool, they recommend using 30 seconds of mouse movement. Uh, this is, you know, just some amount of mouse movement will create a random pool. Go ahead and click next once you're done. And here is where you put in the outer volume contents. Now these should be things that seem incriminating but don't actually get you in trouble. Uh, this is if you were com if you were compelled into revealing the password for your encrypted file. This is what would come up. A uh, picture doesn't particularly matter. What for the tutorial purposes? That's too big. Uh, well, we'll try whatever this is next to it. That'll be good enough. So. That's just as an example of something stored in the outer volume. Once you have your outer volume stuff, you move on to the hidden volume. Now for the hidden volume, this is the stuff that you actually want to keep hidden. Uh, I don't know what that could be for you, but whatever it is. Uh, your encryption options. Uh, my maximum size here is 306 because it has to be contained within the same volume as the other. The picture took up uh, 700 or so. Now the TrueCrypt password. This is a secondary password. Make sure it's different from the first one, or TrueCrypt won't accept it. This is just, this is a password that you don't tell. The password you keep secret, uh, so that no one knows the hidden volume is there. Uh, make sure you read this warning label. It's important to keep in mind everything. Uh, in order to keep your data secure, you should follow all the instructions given by TrueCrypt. It's a great piece of software. Uh, the hidden volume is now created, so once you have your hidden volume, you can go ahead and uh, click exit. Now to view the things, you uh, first need to mount, uh, whoops, forgot to select. Uh, select your file and mount it to, you know, whichever. Where, oh, yeah, desktop. Go ahead and mount your uh, file. mount. Now here, I'm going to put in the password for the outer shell. This is just to show the difference. Now once you've typed in the shell password, you can see there's that picture we put in earlier. Um, if you want to use the hidden volume, you actually just use the, uh, go ahead and dismount and then remount uh, and use the password for the hidden volume. Uh, as you'll be able to see here, Go ahead and uh, go back 
back into Lego Disk M. It's empty because we haven't put anything in it. Uh, anyway, this has been the Hedgeman with the Techies. I hope you'll make use of TrueCrypt. It's a great piece of encryption software. Um, and uh, thank you for watching.